This is the aftermath as a quiet suburb of Rouen became the latest community to be rocked by a barbaric crime. Behind a wide police cordon, the church of Saint-Étienne du Rouvray can just be seen. It's there, during morning mass, that two men armed with knives burst in and took five hostages. The 85-year-old priest was one of them. Father Jacques Amel had served the Catholic community here for almost 60 years. He died, it's reported, after the assailants slit his throat. A nun had managed to raise the alarm, and as police surrounded the church, the men emerged, allegedly shouting Islamist slogans. Marksmen shot them both dead. Paramedics rushed a second hostage to the local hospital. He has life-threatening injuries, reportedly similar to Father Amel's. Within hours, the so-called Islamic State had claimed the attackers as its soldiers, and the president had arrived at the scene of France's latest outrage. We are faced with a group that has declared war on us, said Francois Hollande. We must fight this war by all means while respecting the rule of law, what makes us a democracy. On behalf of the Catholic Church, Pope Francis expressed his sorrow and horror at violence in a sacred place. And standing alongside her Irish counterpart, Britain's Prime Minister was swift to voice solidarity with France. The terrorists will not prevail. They are trying to destroy our way of life. They are trying to destroy our values. We have shared values and those values will win through and the terrorists will not win. As police raided a house down the street from the church, detectives announced one person had been arrested. French media report one of the dead knife men was a local man who'd been freed on bail with an electronic tag pending a trial for terrorism offences. This attack heaps yet more pressure on the French security services and its government, and the whole country must now recover from yet another sickening blow. Catherine Jones, Five News.